Bella didn't suspect. Winston does. It's just easier if he doesn't know. They definitely check things together. <laughs> How's that racket? Murray, I'm really sorry. I was preparing to do some taekwondo, then I tripped. Mate, that's a rip a hole. That one wasn't me. This is my one. I didn't do that one. It's settled. It's okay. I uh, did that one last week. Not a word to the missus, eh? Why don't I get both holes fixed? Oh, thanks, but uh, I've got the wallpaper coming tomorrow, so I'll do yours at the same time. I feel terrible about this. Oh, I'll just cover it up and get it sorted first thing. But if Wendy does ask, you couldn't own up for this hole too, could you? Of course. Why the secrecy? Well, I uh, snuck the bike in to work on it. Had a slight accident with an exhaust pipe. Ah. Oh. And seeing how me and her are getting on so well right now. A little white lies in order. Anya, you are a good man, Wyn. I've spent half my lifetime wanting this. I never stop wishing things had worked out differently. Do you really have to work? Yeah, a couple of hours. But then we'll rug up and we'll go for a walk on the beach. Mm. Is that a fire alarm? Yeah. I'd better check it out. People getting out. Guess we should too. <clears throat> Bad timing. Could be worse. We could go to sugar for breakfast. I am in the mood for pancakes. Actually, I've already eaten. Huh? Have you? I could go a coffee, though. Oh, I'm due a freebie on the loyalty card. OK. Milk. There's like no food in the place. Yeah, I'm to a shop. <laughs> Are you ever? Oh, the rent on this place must be killing you. No, I'm doing okay. How long have you been here on your own? A couple of weeks. What, paying everything? So rent, bond, expenses, and you didn't have an income in New Plymouth. How can you be doing okay? It does not add up. Can we just go? Jilly, talk to me. All right, if you must know, I am totally skint. Okay. No, I didn't ask you for money. Why are you getting it anyway? Come on, take it. Thank you, I will pay you back next pay. Huh? So, why aren't you getting in flatmates? Well, how would that work? Callum stays over most nights. And it'd just be weird. <laughs> Catching the CEO in the nutty? <laughs> Excuse me, I meant more for him. He doesn't want to hang out with a bunch of 20-something staff members. Well, he's happy enough hanging out with you. It's different. You know it is. Well, you can't carry on like this, doesn't he realise? I haven't that... said anything. I don't want him to think I'm trying to pressure him into moving in. Is that what you want? <gasps> oh, you do! Oh! You want to live together like a proper couple? Oh, my goodness. Another first for Jill Kingsbury. Don't tease. Oh, come on. Let me. I've been waiting years for this. 
little jewel bird clipping her own wings. Okay, you have to tell Callum. Ask him to move in. I can't. If he wanted to move in, he would have said something. He obviously thinks it's too soon. Yeah, or maybe he's afraid of rushing you. Drop in. Find out. Oh, hilarious practical joke. Not? Uh, I don't know. It was nice huddling together. With 50 other people, most of whom are fully dressed. Oh, at least it wasn't a real fire. Whoa. Hey, do you fancy a hot bath? Ah, oh, nice. Is that yours? That must have been there from the previous guest. Why didn't we see it before? No idea. I handed in the reception, eh? Yeah. I'll make this hip of the bed. Oh, why bother? I'm just going to mess it up again. Uh -huh. Hi, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Good, yeah. Can I get you anything? Uh, I was hoping to get some computer advice. Yeah? I dropped my laptop. Does it still boot up? Not sure, but there's a crack in the screen. The hard drive might be fine. Oh, can they fix a cracked screen? Replace. <laughs> Bring it in this afternoon and I'll have a look. Brilliant, thanks. Hi, I was just getting some computer advice off Daniel. Fair enough. Got your wallpaper then? Yeah. Redecorating. Not exactly. Wallpapering over a hole that Wendy can't ever find out about. <laughs> Slight accident with a bike plan in the living room. Uh, long story. Uh, so, good luck with the laptop, eh? Thanks. Hi, Wendy. Hi. What's with her acting all funny? Ah, oh, she was just in talking to Daniel. And you? Well, yeah, Daniel had to serve a customer. And you just had to talk to Vasa? Well, I didn't have to, but I was just here and she was just there and... Look, I'll make a cup of rain. Date for you? Yeah, yeah, anything, thanks. Jill, would you rather I wasn't here? Why would you say that? Well, you just seem uneasy. I, th I thought maybe it's starting to get you, the way people look at us. No, let them look if they want. I don't care. So, um, uh, what's on your mind? That makes I've got a three-bedroom apartment and I uh, can't handle the rent. I need to get it sorted. Right. Hey, I have to rent out both rooms to make it affordable. So you're thinking people from here? It's a hospital apartment. Two extras, though, would be pretty full on. Visitors all the time. Instant parties. No doubt. Well, you are staggering distance from the IV. That's a, that's a great selling point. Yeah. They can walk to work, shake off that hangover. Well, I'm sure if you put a notice up like that in the staff room, uh, people will be lining up. You think that's what I should do? I think it would be effective. What happens when you stay over? There'll be people everywhere, people who work for you. I'm sure I could keep out of their way. We'll work something out. Hi. We found this in our room, 402. It looks like a wedding ring, so I'm guessing someone will be wanting it back. Thanks very much. No problem. Hi. I was visiting my friend yesterday, and I seem to have lost my wedding ring. What room, sir? Four or something. Four, three, or two, I think. I feel very stupid. I just took it off and forgot. Can you describe it? Plain gold band. No inscription. Is this it? That's it. Thank you so much. Not at all. a couple of holes which your mum cannot know about. How come? Yeah, because the shed is full of junk and I have to sneak in here to work on the bike while your mum is at work and I slipped and I stuck the exhaust pipe through the wall. Dad. Yeah, but the exhaust pipe is okay, thank goodness. No one home? What am I? Chop liver. No, I just wanted to show off my shopping. Do you like it? Oh, idiot. Sorry? No, me. Oh, look at me. Just throw it in the wash. So, do you think you'll be able to get it all tidied up before Mum gets back? Well, that is the plan. Uh, not a word, remember? 
You didn't see me? I wasn't here. Just tell her. You know she's going to find out anyway. She always does. No, things are good with us. And I'm not doing anything to mess with that. Have you run into Vasa lately? No. Still catch up with Ulla, though, eh? Yeah. Has she mentioned anything about her mother having a new boyfriend? She hasn't mentioned. Why? Vasa was lurking around the bar this morning. Lurking? Claimed she was asking Daniel about her computer. All I saw was her and Murray talking. You're not still worried about those two? Well, I wasn't, but they clammed up when I came in and she couldn't wait to get away. Wendy. I'm just saying what I saw. Well, cut to the chase here. Get a private detective and stop freaking yourself out. They're expensive, eh? I was joking. I guess so was I. I'm oh, sorry. Um, what happened to talking to Callum? I did talk to him. Told him I needed new flatmates, practically pointed a flashing neon arrow at him. I guess what he said? What? Oh, that this would be the best place for the notice. You know what that means, don't you? That you were right. He thinks it's too soon to look to the... Nope. That he doesn't take me seriously. That he doesn't think I'm partner material. Hey, of course he does. <laughs> he's never hidden the fact that you're together. He's proud to be seen with you. Proud like he's proud to be seen in his flash company car. I'm starting to think that's all I am. Just a trophy. Okay, if that's all he wanted, he wouldn't have chosen his son's girlfriend, would he? Yeah, but he didn't choose anything. It just happened. We got carried away. And now is the time to think. Time to put me in my place. Oh, mate, I think you're getting this way out of perspective. No, I'm not. You weren't there this morning. Okay, when I asked him to move in, he couldn't back away quick enough. He's happy to be in my bed, happy to have me on his arm when it suits him, but that's the limit. He's made that clear. I mean, how would you feel? Well, I feel like dirt. Okay. It was just a big mistake. A big, stupid mistake. I mean... Hey, the waiters said that they're towing cars out there. Oh, might be a chick. Go right back. Alex Murphy's phone. Who's this? It's Brooke Freeman. And who might you be? I'm currently working with Dr. Murphy. Who am I speaking with, please? Where's Alex? He just popped out for a bit. It sounds like you're already outside. Did you want to leave a message? It's nearly 12 o'clock here. I'll call back later. And you better not pick up. Nicely done. Especially the Australian accent. Well, acting's a big part of my trade. I imagine it is. So what happens next with those two? A big laugh. Oh, good. A huge laugh. Here it is. <laughs> Chances are I just need a new screen, but I'll see if it boots up. Oh, yeah, I can't stick around. I've got a job interview. No worries. Good luck, huh? Thanks. Twice in one day. I was just dropping my computer off. And my husband, where would he be? Uh, excuse me. Murray's at the suppliers. Oh, so leave me. Hi. Which one? Fish, I think. You think? Oh, he, might, he might have said meat. That's right. Yeah. Right. I'll uh, be there in five. Oh, I should have took a car, but I didn't see anyone getting towed. I took a call for you. 
No, don't tell me. Korea's looking for me. A woman. Australian, by the sounds of it. What name? She didn't give one. She just wanted to know who I was and said she'd talk to you later. It was a private number. It won't be there. She didn't sound happy that I'd answered. Did you say she was with Tanchi? She didn't. It didn't sound like a work call. No, I can't think how else it would be. Oh, well, I guess if it's important, I'll call back. Yeah, I suppose so. Makes me think I should check in at work, though. Uh, do you need to? Hello? Hi, it's Brooke. Oh, hi. How's it going in Tauron? Good, yeah. I just thought I'd check in, see if anything's come up. No. I'm just here working on the questions Tanchi sent us. Are you getting any time to relax? Not really, no. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm so busy cleaning your computer keyboards and sticking pins into his Alex doll. I just think it's a bit weird. That wedding ring before. And then the phone call from that woman. Yeah, and the missing tow truck. Oh well. I'll go and pay. Hey, I was thinking about dinner tonight. How about I cook at your place before you get overrun with flatmates? No, thanks. Uh, what's wrong? Do you really have to ask? Yes. You were out of sorts at the cafeteria this morning. Now this... Is it me? Have I upset you? No, 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 no. I love the fact that you don't want to live with me. It makes me feel fantastic. Um, wait just a minute. Okay, in here, we need to clear this up. No, because there's nothing to clear up. Oh, yes, there is. What makes you think I don't want to live with you? I don't know, maybe the fact that I offered you the chance to move in with me and you turned me down. You didn't offer. You said you needed flatmates. Obviously, I meant you. Don't pretend you didn't get that. I didn't. What I heard was that you, you want party central. You want to be able to go home, shut the door on work and have a good time. Which is only fair because you are young and you. free to do whatever you... I'm with you, OK? I want to go home from work and shut the door with you. I can't do that. That is the point. What point? We are in different worlds, you and I. You can leave work at work and go out and do whatever you want with your time, but I can't do that. I am the CEO of a city hospital. Schmoozing after hours comes with a job description. It's something I have to do. And you don't think you can do that with me? Am I not good enough? Are you ashamed of me? Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't be with you if I thought like that. Okay, so then what's the problem, huh? Why can't you move in with me? All right, do you know what that would entail? You'd have to mingle with people like Rachel and Chris, throw cocktail parties for DHB members and charity snobs. Your every move would be scrutinised. I can't ask that of you. Well, what if I was wanting to do that, huh? What if I would do anything to be with you? Why would you do that? Because I love you. And I love you too. But this... Are you sure? Right. Well, I've got one question for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when can you move in? How about this afternoon? see you at home. Yeah. Anyone home? Hi. What are you doing here? I just nipped in to wash the shirt. Uh, I got some stuff on it, so uh, I came home. I thought you were at a supplier's. I was, uh, but then I had a spill, uh, so here I am. Whose is this? Jasmine? No. Where is she? Who? You know damn well who! <sighs> the owner of this cardigan. Maybe it was Bella's. Uh, she was here an hour or so ago. I thought you were at a supplier's. Huh. Right. I want the truth, or so help me, I want... I was fixing the holes in the wall. What are you talking about? I was fixing holes in the wall I made when I was fixing the bike, but I got plaster on me, so I had to wash my shirt, so now here we are. Plaster? On my shirt.
Oh. You thought I had Vasa here. Well, you two look so damn cosy at the bar. I made polite conversation. I couldn't wait for her to leave. Neither could she. And then you walked in. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing Vasa or anyone else on the sly. I wouldn't. I've learnt my lesson, OK? OK. I'm very hurt that you don't trust me. The man who worships the ground you walk on. Oh, really? How mortally wounded I am. I think you should kiss me better. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> nice timing. Thanks. Time for a glass of wine, I suspect. Lovely. Oh, there's champagne here too. Even better. Mm. Why have you booked a one-way flight to Paris? I haven't. Why? This says you have. How could I be so stupid? How could someone like you still be single? Answer, you're not. I don't know what's going on. Here's your wedding ring back. Is that the one I handed in? Stop it, Alex. It's over. Call your wife. Tell her that you're on your way home now. Brooke. What was this meant to be? Revenge? Did you plan to make me fall in love with you and then tell me that you're married? Was that the plan? <laughs> Look, this is all some kind of mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. Mine. Surprise. He's a blast. This is Vinnie Crusade. From the past. I used to work here back in the day. She's got history. She's never been very good with money. That keeps repeating. Would it be okay if I borrowed a couple of hundred? You're calling her a gold digger. And this old habit. I just need you to hook me up. What, what are you wasting your time with that rubbish for when you can have this? Has become... Is that speed? The beginning of the end. Shortland Street. 7 o'clock weeknights. TV2.